Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandy. Today we are going to be watching Ellen Offends the Irish. I'm Ellen Partridge. I love Ellen Partridge. Uh, Steve Coogan's character is, is just, just one of the best. Um, I haven't seen all of it. I've seen some clips and I've seen some bits like the <laughs> The madman who um, had who who took him to his house, and he had pictures of Alan all over his walls, and the farmers, obviously the classic farmers, <laughs> were upset. Spinal column in a bap. Um, let's have a look at this. I don't remember him offending any Irish people, um, but yeah, let's have a look. Can we have please also consider subscribing. British Isles breakfast, please. Certainly. British Isles. Uh, dear robot. <laughs> it was surprised she went into the kitchen, opened a chest up and uh, stuck in a screwdriver and turned a smile up. Mm. <laughs> nice chest, but full of wires. <sighs> Do you smell gas? Oh. Ah. Food will probably, uh, yeah, well, just break it down. They'll break it down. Mm -hmm. yeah. Actually, I'll probably get some ruby grapefruit juice. That, that'll help too. Oh, I'm long line. suffering, Lynn. Well, Aidan is from Selbridge, which is near oh. Dublin, and I'm originally from West Cork. Oh, whereabouts? You know Skibbereen? <gasps> Skibbereen? Oh, I. I, I used to go there as a little child. Oh, yeah. I, I, mean, I used to go on nature trails, and I used to spot flowers, and my mummy used to. There we go! <sighs> ruby grapefruit <sighs> I'm going to take the whole jug in case it's all quaffed by uh, R2-D2 over there. Tea, coffee? Tea or coffee, tea or coffee. <laughs> Four teas, please. <laughs> Such a bastard. Alan? No, no, I'd love to go. <laughs> it amazes me when people say that and it's only 49 quid on a plane. Yeah, I think that's what puts me off. Oh, my God. Stop. Well, Is it 45, 49 talk. pounds? Now let's get down to business. Now, Seems your expensive. program, what's the big idea? Well, the, uh, is he doing the, the big idea is that we want to produce a show that appeals to modern, mainstream audiences on both sides of the Irish Sea. Oh. Oh, scary <laughs> Irish man. Would you like to recruit me? I like your berets. They're worn by Saddam Hussein. Oh my Frank god, Spencer. that leather underwear. And the French. <laughs> I love the trainers. Of both countries. Yeah, I, I, I think the Irish are going through a major image change. I mean, the old image of leprechauns, shamrock, Guinness. Yeah, yeah. Horses running through council estates, <laughs> uh, two simpletons, <laughs> people with eyebrows on their cheeks, badly tarmacked drives in this country, uh, men in platform shoes being arrested for bombings. <laughs> oh my God! And, uh, Stop beamish. talking. I, I think I think people are saying, yes, there's more to Ireland than this. A good slogan for the tourist board. There's Can more Guinness. to Ireland. Dundis. Everybody loves Guinness. <laughs> it's a terrible accent. Thank you. Oh, thanks very much. Uh, you blonde bastard. From, from the future. Alan. Oh, this looks disgusting. Still, might as well eat it. <laughs> so, uh, how many people were uh, killed in the Irish famine? Two, two million and another two million had to leave the country. Right. I mean, if it was just the potatoes that were affected, at the end of the day, you will pay the huh? price if you're a fussy eater. <laughs> oh my God. That wasn't it. Right, then they could afford to eat in a modest restaurant. <laughs> could we come live from the Blarney Stone? I'm trying to get an angle on this. You see, Alan, I, I think you're increasingly <laughs> moving towards an area we want to move away from. Yep. You're absolutely right. Live TV can blow up in your face. Sorry about that. You must be, uh, you must be sick of that. <laughs> what? You know, being blown up, bombs. I'm from Dublin, not in Dublin. We're from Dublin. Oh. Yeah, but that's where you make them. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. Oh. No. No. 
oh, if you can afford to immigrate, then um, they can afford to eat at a modest restaurant. <laughs> Just his grasp of history is insane while talking to these Irish men and causing so much offence. Oh, he's just so good. Stephen Coogan. So good. Just such a brilliant character. Uh, and he's from, what is it? Is it from Norfolk? Was he? Something like that. And uh, it, it's just such a, is Norfolk a remarkable place? It's just, it's just Norfolk. What do they have going for them there? The coastline. That's it. <laughs> just so close minded. <laughs> and great i love it uh, i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please subscribe and yeah uh, don't just watch and leave subscribe as well that sounds so threatening sorry subscribe if you'd like to i hope to see you in the next one bye